look safe at all. These look like they're gonna explode at any second. No, they're just little, just little tide or like not tide pools, like spring pools of pools of water. And yeah, it just looks like with the steam coming out that the top has like crusted over, and then the buildup of pressure will just eventually get to a point that that top will ah. just crack off and explode into a bunch of pieces. I gotcha. Also, there goes our jet fuel again. Maybe I can use one of these. Whee! Yeah, you kind of did, I think. Whee! Yep, a little bit. Use okay, it to get up there, go. then. Yeah, there we go. An area with unusually high geothermal activity. Ooh! Hot springs all around. Geysers shooting up out of the crust. Ah. Yeah, so Dave had the same idea we had, once again, a little bit late. He's just an astronaut. <laughs> He's just an astronaut. Uh, let's see him try to start a YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. That's what I think about that. Astronauts. I'm just... I, I don't believe that. We love you, astronauts. Mm-hmm. I do love astronauts. They're amazing. People who go down underwater in a sub... Um, or, you know, up into the air with a plane... You are impressive. That is a scary thing that you did. However, going up into space on a rocket and then just sitting in a metal tube with mere inches of steel and fabric keeping you from the vacuum of space, <laughs> that's intense. <laughs> you are surrounded by instant death. There is nothing more terrifying than hard vacuum. Yeah. There's a submarine fails, you can surface. A space station fails, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. This is pretty. And probably death. I, but... I know you want to jump into it, but we'll probably fall into it by accident. So. You can hear the gears turning in my head, just like, eh, I really want to buy it. They're like the ink pots. Kind of. <laughs> You've been to the ink pots, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, um, it's... Where the heck is it? Is it in BC or Alberta now? I can't remember. Anyway, if you look up the ink pots, it's just a bunch of, like, springs, but all the minerals in the springs have changed the colors of the water. Ah. So it looks like that. And they're all, like, different colors. Yeah. So you get lots of greens and browns and reds. and It's very cool. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, One of I... Canada's many wonders. Where am I going here? You're going up that ridge and across those platforms. Up. What okay, ridge? turn turn left. Okay. And just walk straight this way. Yeah. And then take a right. Okay. Walk between these columns. Yeah. There we go. And you want to get up onto this ridge that's on our right. So we're probably gonna have to go back a little ways and then up. No, oh, come on! I can, I can, I can jimmy it. I can jimmy it. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'll use these smaller rocks. Maybe? Yeah. But yeah, I think we I think we need to get up so we can cross those. Unless that's the part we're trying to cross too. Uh, oh no, that's not. Here, follow those columns back to the right, and see if we can get up on the right hand side. To the right. Yeah, to take the... a right. Head back to where we were. Okay. So I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. I think we want to start on this end and cross. Ah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. No, I come on. Throw me a bone here. Come on. This is why I said we'd probably fall into them by accident. <laughs> Cuz we're going to have to try and get across these things. There we go. Look at me go. Ha ha. I'm the most astronaut. He's the astronautiest. Oh my. There we go. And now we, now we reach the top. Ooh, ooh, that one's even prettier. <sighs> okay, and let it go. It's just gonna result in us dying, and then we'll be back. So, no point really, unless we jump from that high point, like a like a diving board. <laughs> <laughs> in which case, I'm fully backing this idea. No, let's just see the rest of the game content. I'm liking these. Uh, I'm liking this. This little canyon, whatever, wherever we are here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, oh, that was less fun. <laughs> no way you were making that. 
<laughs> I was too busy enjoying the scenery. Curse you, beautiful vistas. Ah, the sun is very reflective here. I'm glad he has a protective visor. Yeah, jeez. Quit hogging all the protective gear, Dave. All right, there we go. All right. And leap. one more and leap and yes. I like all the colors. Yep. So many colors. I'm enjoying the colors. I am basically a small child. Whee! Well, it's an interesting palette because, I mean, it's lots of grays and browns and natural natural colors. Um, but then they have, like, these bright greens and blues mixed in. You're definitely going to plug that gap. Plug up the whole... No, I... There, no, no, come on. Yes, uh, yes. Push, push. There we, there go. we go. And leap. Ha ha! Take that, puzzle. Ah. Uh -uh. We had to do it again, didn't we? Alright, plug up that other one now. Come on, puzzle. I like that that boulder isn't even really on that. Uh, it's close enough. Close enough. Who oh. cares? Oh, I think it's timed. It hurt us. It hurt us and it was not impressed. Alright. Let's rock and roll. Yeehaw! And another yeehaw. Cowboy astronaut. Yeah! Space cowboys. When I grow up, I want to be a space cowboy. When I grow up, I want to be a fire truck. <laughs> you want to be a fire truck? <laughs> <laughs> when I was really little, I wanted to be a jeep. A jeep? Yeah. So you could drive around uh, college-age girls? I would be okay with that. I'm not seeing a downside. <laughs> no, I just thought jeeps were super cool. And that was, that was really little. Like, by kindergarten, I had changed my mind and wanted to be a paleontologist, but... Then wow. I realized in, like, grade 8 that there was not a lot of call for paleontologists anymore. No. No. Although there's a town in, uh, there's a town in BC that's had a, like, basically resurgence as a result of paleontology. Road trip. Yeah, they um they found some uh they found some uh some f dinosaur footprints uh somewhere which were apparently the only evidence of dinosaurs in BC to date. Awesome. This was like back in 2000. And so this whole town basically uh exploded with excitement. Yeah. Well, this whole town which was which was a like going to be basically an abandoned town because the like coal mine had closed. Um, had a resurgence as a result of finding a bunch of uh, finding like yeah these footprints and then finding a bunch more evidence of, of dinosaurs and stuff like that and so they have they have literally a dinosaur based economy <laughs> well that's like that's like drum heller basically yes but it is I'm just saying it is one of the few places on earth that has an actual dinosaur based economy there are not many places Yep, fair enough. I don't know that we've brought attention to the fact that we're in an active volcano now. Uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're definitely in an active volcano. <laughs> this lava-derived glass confirms recent volcanic activity in this region. Thanks, tips! Now, was that a log, or was that something he was saying? <laughs> that's, something he was, that's something he was saying, I think. Good. Literally just. That's why he's an astronaut and not a detective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He is taking it in stride. A lot of people would be like, "Oh Jesus! Oh my! What the hell is going on here? I'm not going anywhere near that. Where am I? I'm going to curl up here into the fetal position." If his futuristic astronaut gear gave him protection from lava or heat or gases, then I would be like, "No, oh, okay." But if, if it was just an astronaut suit, as I understand astronaut suits to function, I'd probably give that a big F no. 
<laughs> like this. I'm going back. Russian girl can come find me. Because she's obviously leading you somewhere. Yeah, she's leading us somewhere. Like, she hasn't... At first, it looked like she was running oh, no. away. Ooh. Oh, that was... I just... Sorry, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear you. He's screaming too loudly. Sorry, Dave! <laughs> you should see the audio spikes on that. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, that wasn't... All right, where am I supposed to go here? It's okay. We'll get it. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> 